What's up, guys? Today we're going to be making uh, kind of a quick lunch uh, that's based on a very traditional Portuguese cod dish, salt cod dish. It's like Portuguese uh, salt cod with uh, fried onions and potatoes. Very simple, uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, thankfully, uh, Bella uh, sells this amazing cod. Uh, that's done in Portuguese style, which already has good olive oil and some fried onions in it. Uh, it's really delicious. It's the perfect amount of salinity. It's an amazing product uh, that we actually sell on Leaves and Loaves Goods. Uh, so we're going to feature this today in this recipe. Um, very kind of simple. Uh, we do this for lunch in particular when we have like leftover potatoes from last night's dinner. Uh, and it's a pretty quick pickup. Uh, you gotta do a couple things, but it's not too bad. Uh, first, get a pan nice and warm. Put a generous amount of olive oil. We always use a lot of olive oil, obviously in Portugal, it's one of our, our staple fats. We don't use a ton of butter. Uh, cows in general are kind of like a luxury, uh, so we don't really use a ton of butter. Uh, you know, as it's, you know, as our main fat, uh, so olive oil is really our, our go-to. Uh, we're going to season this with a little good Portuguese sea salt from the Azores. Now our goal here is really to, oh, let me put the light on so you can see a little bit better. Uh, so our goal here is really to, not so much getting caramelization on these potatoes or anything, because uh, traditionally this, this would be done with uh, boiled potatoes. Um, but I mean, treating this as like, kind of a leftovers lunch. So if you have some boiled potatoes or baked potatoes left over from the night before, this is a perfect recipe for, uh, for that. So we're just basically getting these hot. Uh, we don't have to, you know, get crazy, you know, color on them. Hey, listen, if they do get a little color, that's totally fine. Uh, but we want the pan kind of hot um, to get a little bit of so we don't lose if you think, a lot of the heat because our next step with the onions we're actually going to be frying the onions up uh, and that requires some heat so we don't want to lose our heat from our pan uh, let me just take this i'm going to take this i'm going to drop this into the bowl and then say it's done and it's made in one piece essentially and then they, they uh, cook it like that. And then underneath is tons of little diced caramelized onions. Uh, and then tons of, I mean, look at the color on the olive oil. It's really, really amazing. Uh, and this uh, Bella, I believe, uh, feels primarily in like organic stuff. So the olive oil they use is organic. And just, they're just a really great product. So what I like to do, is we're gonna do this for two people. I'm gonna break this cot up. A bunch. We'll leave it'll have some, you know, bigger pieces, but mostly we kind of break it up into the uh, into the little shards, and it breaks up naturally into. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Okay. So we're not really looking for color. We're just trying to make them nice and warm, essentially. Okay. Beautiful. Coming out great. You know, if you know, Portugal has just a long-standing history with cod. Um, you know, there's a, a an old saying that there's a recipe for every day of the year, essentially. Uh, so salt cod in particular, you know, it's one of those things. It's part of that that ingrained culture of Portugal, uh, which is kind of funny. I mean, it's so synonymous with Portugal, but you know, you can't find a cod anywhere near the waters of Portugal. You have to go up to Iceland, cross into Nova Scotia, uh, you know, Norway, all these places that have uh, much colder waters. Um, so it's kind of interesting that cod has become such an iconic part of Portugal when, you know, I always say they went and got a signature dish or signature item. I always think it's kind of interesting as part of the, the history and culture of Portugal. These are almost done. You can see they're starting to get 
just a tiny bit of color there. You know, just like that. Just that you don't you don't want to get too much color. Your really goal here is just to make them nice and warm. Okay. Now, now that they're nice and warm, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wean the pan down a little bit. So we want to leave that olive oil behind because we're gonna use that in our next as part of our next kind of a setting, if you will, or stage. I'm gonna put all the potatoes in one bowl to start, because we want to keep them nice and warm, and they'll stay warmer in a mass. And these potatoes, obviously, listen, if you have, you know, regular uh, Idaho potatoes, like I said, if I go from a baked potato, that totally works, you know, any kind of potato, works for this recipe really. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put a lid on this just to keep them really nice and warm. Okay, now we're gonna take this olive oil that's left over, really crank up the heat, really crank up the heat. And we're gonna fry these onions up. We're not gonna caramelize these onions up, we're gonna fry them up um, essentially. So we're, we're gonna fast draw out some of the sugars uh, you know, give them nice and nice and toasty and, uh, you know, give them a nice fried flavor instead of like a low and slow caramelized flavor. So this is just one small onion, I guess medium onion, uh, just cut in half moons, just nice and thin. Uh, if you guys remember my onion demo, uh, you'll, uh, you'll remember how to do that or how to peel it anyway. Um, so... For fried onions, you want to kind of avoid shake, 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 shake in the pan because that's not going to allow that surface area to stay intact with the bottom. And it's not going to allow for the that quick caramelization, that quick fried uh, quality that we want for this dish in particular. Um, again, if you were slow caramelizing onions, you know, you want to keep stirring them and stirring them. You're really not trying, that's not your focus for this dish. You really want this dish to fry, get color, toss it, get color, and, and that's pretty much it. So the onions will be cooked through, but they're not gonna be like melty, melty, you know? It's almost like if you do like a, if, you, if anyone's ever done like a smash burger, it's kind of the same theory where you're caramelizing those onions on the bottom. this, put our little spatula here, we'll put this here for a minute, next to that, add our little ingredients forward, okay, add a little bit of salt to this, you don't want to go too crazy obviously with the salt, um, the cod is salt cod so it is technically seasoned, um, so you don't want to go too crazy with the salt. You definitely want to salt the potatoes because, you know, it's a starch and, you know, you want to get some of that salt around that starch. Uh, but with this, you want to kind of put a little salt in there, you know, because you should season everything, but you don't want to go too crazy either. I always like a little crack of black pepper in there as well. Beautiful. Alright, and so you can see, if you look down in here, you can see that these fried little bits are kind of happening, and the onions have essentially kind of changed a little color, especially the ones that are sitting in a little bit more fat, they really kind of change color, and kind of like, see this is kind of whitish, and if you come to the side here, this is kind of more of a yellowish, softer color, and that's because these are cooking a little bit more, because they're sitting in a little bit more fat, so at this point, Gonna toss them around. See how that, see that right there? That's that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. That really nice kind of fry. Now we're gonna spread them back out. Spread them back out. Beautiful. Break them up. You just want to make sure they're nice and broken up. Then we're gonna add the olive oil. Just the olive oil for now, because this needs a nice amount of fat. 
get this caramelization going. Beautiful. So as soon as that oil touches it, they start frying up again. Beautiful. Wipe this off. Fantastic. That's really what we're looking for. Now at this point, we tossed it. We're going to throw a little garlic in there. I like the garlic to just be it's nice and thin because that little, again, we're not caramelizing the garlic. We're not creating like this roasted garlic, you know, sensation, if you will. You're, you kind of want a little bit of that bite uh, for this dish because, you know, cod tends to be kind of bold. So, you know, with those bold, with those bold flavors, you know, comes kind of a bold counterpoint. So that's why you're frying the onions, you're having a little bit of that garlic a little bit on the you know, raw side because you want that kind of assertiveness in there. Okay. So perfect, look at that. This is nice, beautifully fried right there. Exactly what we're looking for. And the smells are fantastic. I mean, that's perfect. That's, that's so good right there. Toss, toss, toss again. Spread them out. And then at this point, we're gonna add our cod. Add our cod. We're spreading it all over me, as per usual, my style. <laughs> okay. Every, you want all the juices, you want everything in there. Okay, everything in there. Beautiful. We wipe this bowl. So again, spread it out a little bit. Okay, break it up. Make sure it's nice and broken. Okay, beautiful. Looks great. And then, these are the parsley stems. A lot of people like to throw them out. Uh, I am not one of those people. We try to use as much of everything as possible. So at this point, I like to throw in the parsley stems because they'll take a little bit to soften. A little bit extra heat to soften. Okay. Now that's going, we're gonna unsheath our potatoes. Okay. Put this here. Okay. We're gonna turn this off now. That's perfect. Everything's nice and fried, perfectly. Okay. Now we're gonna split these nice warm potatoes into two. The two bowls. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. And then we got this. Okay. So that delicious mix. We're gonna give this a nice toss, toss, toss. Fantastic. Look at that. And that's and that's just. Just put a little stuff there. Right there. Yeah, this goes right over the top. Right over the top. Again. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice. A little bit here, a little bit there. And then never ever leave olive oil behind, obviously. And we're, this dish is very much about good olive oil too. Now, a lot of the good olive oil nuances, they get lost right here because you're, you know, you're heating it up. So a lot of those olive oil nuances get lost. So I like to take some really good Portuguese olive oil, just drizzle it over the top to make sure we have those really beautiful nuances. And then this dish is about that kind of richness of starch and fish and onions. So some good red wine vinegar over the top. So it's almost like a warm potato and salt cod salad. And over the top, and then we want to keep that freshness. So the, the leaves from the stems of the parsley over the top of that. And boom, there you have really delicious Portuguese style salt cod straight into the light. 
you can kind of get a good look at it. Beautiful sockeye, very traditional. Uh, you can even put a, a fried egg on top of this if you want to make it a little bit heartier lunch. Uh, it's all delicious. It's all fantastic. So that's it, guys. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Make sure you order some Bella Cod from us.